it is important to build a strong foundation. And we can do it uh, wherever we like it. We can do it from whatever we like. But the consequences we will, we will have to take as well. And uh, just to illustrate the point, I would like to bring um, another illustration of another building. In uh, 1174, Bonanno Pisano started working on the project of a tower, which later on have become famous and known as Leaning Tower. You know it. <laughs> okay, he worked on it. It was only it was a freestanding tower next to the uh, next to the cathedral uh, cathedral of the of Pisa, uh, of Pisa. So it was bell tower, uh, a tower for the bell. It was only eight floors high. Baj Dubai is 160 floors high. Slight difference. Huh? Okay, just a few meters. <laughs> yeah, 160 floors, can you imagine? Mamma mia, spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Here, Tower of Pisa was only eight floors, 56 meters high. You know, 14 and a half times shorter than Baj Dubai. And when uh, Bonanno Pisano designed everything and they started building, during the construction, builders as well as the architect realized that there is a problem. Because as, as soon as they started building the second floor and then third floor, they noticed that the footings on one side, on the southern side of the uh, building of the construction, they started giving in. So when the building was finished and opened in, in 1360, uh, it was already leaning. And they knew that they cannot do anything. They were trying to compensate uh, on every floor as they were going by making the northern side of the building shorter and the, uh, the uh, southern side taller. So, you know, the floors, you know, the, the floors are not really parallel as they should be, okay? They were cheating. Didn't help. Didn't help. Hundred and uh, hundred and fifty-seven years uh, before um, Reformation, the Tower of Pisa was opened. Hundred and fifty-seven years before Reformation, and it kept leaning and it kept leaning, and eight hundred years later. The problem was so big that they decided to close it and do something about it. And uh, 800 years later, that is in uh, 1989, the renovation started and after 12 years and after $25 million, in December 2001, the Leaning Tower of Pisa was opened again, or reopened, only re re uh, with reduced leaning by 40 centimeters. Good, huh? Well, they didn't want to take it all together because it would, it would make, you know, the leaning tower not leaning, okay? And the, they would lose on tourism. <laughs> But at the same time, you know, it, it was dangerous that the leaning tower will go flat. And they, that's why they decided to, to, to make the adjustments and they removed 110 tons of soil on the northern side so, uh, because it was easier to lower the northern side than lift the, uh, the southern side. So what they did, they 
propped up the southern side as much as they could and removed some of the soil from, the, uh, from under the footings on the northern side and they reduced to the, by, by that 40 centimeters so it was safe. Now there are some engineers around here, they know what, know, know what it may involve. Uh, no, the difference, uh, the problem was that the difference between the, where the tip of the tower was and the footing was, the difference was five meters on eight floors. Okay, can you imagine Baj leaning to that degree? And Glenn is already working on this, on the specifications. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the problem was that architect Bonanno Pisano was not, r not, not wrong in his construction. There was no problem with his construction. There was no problem with materials that were used on the site to build the, the building. There was no problem with workmanship of that building. Where was the problem? Where was the building placed? Where was the building placed? That's what boils down to. Re no, location of the building. If it was, uh, if, if it was uh, lift or shifted, or if it was started somewhere else, placed somewhere else, it would be no problem. We've got similar story in the Bible, don't we? Matthew, Chapter 7, verse, beginning with verse 24. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 24. And, um, yep. Therefore, everyone who hears the words of mine and acts on them may be compared to the wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and slammed against the house, and yet it did not fall, for it had been founded on the rock. Everyone who hears those words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and slammed against the house, and it fell. A great was its fall. You can see that it's almost like a mirror reflection of the stories, except there is not inserted in the, other, in the second story. The buildings are very much similar. Uh, there is uh, basically the, you know, both require building, both re require design, both uh, in, require somebody who does it. But scripture tells us that the, the, the difference is only the spot where the building was built. What, what is the purpose of home or building that is built, that anyone takes on to build. What's the purpose? To stand? Stand long? Okay. So why do we do it? When we build a home, why do we build a home? To feel safe, yes. To feel? To be protected. So feel safe, to be protected. What else? To live in it. What else? For a shelter. What else? For? F to stand for a long time so nomads don't build houses. They, er they erect tents. Okay. Those two people decided to stay there. That's why they built houses, because they wanted to have security. They wanted to have protection. They wanted to live there. They wanted comfort of that. And you know what? And they picked the sides. Okay? And so, so this is the, the situation. Now, 
where they built it made a difference and it can make also a difference to any of us. Uh, you know, in Palestine, uh, as well as in Australia, uh, there are periodic rivers. How do, you, how do we call them? What do you call them? They call them in Palestine, in, uh, in Arab countries, they call them vadis. Vadis are rivers that temporarily flow, you know, and for years and years, the river may be just a, a no, no ditch, uh, an, an imprint in the land. Nothing happens there. You know, you can have a trice of uh, rocks going in the middle of the sands, but it is a river bed. And the year will come when the rains will fall and that in insertion in the land, in, top in the topography of the land, will become a treacherous river. And you know, those who are locals to those places, they know where the waters go. And it may be one in 100. You know, how, pe how long people live? Or how long would people live in those days? Now we are living longer because we are smarter. <laughs> You're laughing, obviously, you know. <laughs> okay. We are living longer because we can afford it. True? Yeah, that's true. But they were living around 45, 50 maximum years, yeah, because of you know, hard you know, yaka that they were doing it. And uh, they didn't have as good hospitals as we do. Yeah, we complain about them, but we, they're still good, aren't they? It's good to have them. So if somebody was born uh, 20 years after the vadi was filled with the water, and it is one in 100, you know, by the time they die, they would not see the, the, the river filled with the water. So for somebody like that, who is 24 years, uh, you know, you know, fast achiever and wants to build a house, you know, just married and wants to build a house, you know, and wants to separate from the oldies. <laughs> no, that's a good spot. Flat. You know, easy. I never seen the water. You know, oh, I mean, I don't know what the old, you know, old dude lived through, but no, there was. I have never seen in my 20 years of life. I didn't see water there, so it's a good spot for water. But you know, those who were living longer, they know that this is a river. And you can imagine those two builders being being those the, these two kind of builders. One that was listening to what the people were saying, this is a good spot for the house, this is a not good spot for the house, because you know the rivers are changing their, their bed, they, they, they changing their course. So you can easily have a flat area filled with sand, and then it is uh, you know, uh, you know not, not far away from that, few meters away from that, you can have a solid ground where ne water never gets there. It always tends to go to the other thing, uh, to the other direction, and you know, obviously there was a rock underneath, and water does not bargain with rock. So one of the builders knew it, and and what's the difference? What the, what's the other difference that you can detect as we are going through? You know, this whole illustration is a good illustration. Jesus used this because he could see that there was one builder that was prepared to take time. And the other builder that was taking it easy. I let it sink. One that was prepared to take the cost. The other one that didn't, you know, didn't want to spend money or time for it. And this is a pure, I mean, great illustration because we can build our lives, as I said to the children, 
It's important where you put your foundations for your life. Anyone hears? Amen. So if you're 24-year-old, 20-year-old, 21-year-old, where is that 21-year-old? Where is he? Disappeared. When you're 21 year old and you are about to put foundations somewhere, you better know where you put your footings. And how strong are your footings. And you know, that whole illustration can be a good illustration for that. Because it's not only about the concrete that is important, it's about my and your life as well. It will make the difference how tall you're going to stand. Or if you will stand at all for too long. <laughs> you know, it's it, it's good illustration for we can have various foundation. We can build our lives around Christianity, around Christian philosophy, around Muslim philosophy, around Buddhist philosophy, Hindu philosophy, Confucianist or Confucianist <laughs> philosophy, Wicca and uh, Voodoo and. And what are science, politics, tradition, ritualism, communism, capitalism, humanism, materialism, rev uh, relativism, modernism, postmodernism, and the list can be more specific. True? And some, you know, you, you, you've met people who have been big on various things, you know, and other things, you know, you saw educated men and you still hang on to these old <laughs> ideas and come on wake up 21st century you know why are you so backwards you get this time of the type of climbs it's not popular each of those builders uh, was uh, you know was was making a choice and each of us will make a choice each of these foundations each of this location can have some positives undeniable but while it has some positives it is only one gr one location one f uh, one place where it is safe to build your foundations one that the one who've been there before <laughs> knows that it is safe that you no know, there is no torrential rains that will affect it ravi zakaria was lecturing in uh, lecturing in the university of ohio and one of his friends brought him around the place to show him a number of things there. And one of the things that was newly opened there was art center uh, in the local area. And as he was going through the, through the area, he was showing him how this strange building was built. The, ha the, ha the, the place had uh, have been constructed. Uh, you know, the, the friend informed Ravi that the place was constructed era around postmodernist philosophy so the how the, 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 the place or the the structure was uh, had, had fascinating features like you would have steps leading to nowhere doors to nowhere pillars supporting nothing and Ravi was looking at this and he was in awe it's interesting and after going through that, he asked his friend a question. Is it the same? Is it according to the same philosophy that the foundations are built? And the friend said, oh, no, you cannot do that with foundations. Do we see the importance? Ravi looked at that and he straight away noticed that in a way you can play, you can play, but no, you cannot play with foundations. Foundation is the, mo the, the crucial point in your structure. And going back to, to the illustration of Jesus, what was the difference between the two places that were built? Between the two builders? One was prepared 
to dig deep, the other one felt he's a, he doesn't have time for it. He's too lazy to build, to, to dig. What can be, what can we parallel to the digging to? Do you dig deep? Do you spend time digging? Time is money. Do you spend money digging deep? Or you prefer to spend time for money? Because the height and the safety of your building will make a difference depending on how much you will spend, how much time and effort and energy you will spend in digging, into the digging for the foundation. Both houses in the illustration were similar. In Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, we will find this text that says, Fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. And this, was, this is what made the difference between those two people. You know, fear of the Lord, respecting what is the, you know, what is the one who fa- have been before, who have been there before, respecting that one will make a difference in your and my life. The desire for easy, great controversy, chap- uh, per page 472, the desire for easy religion that requires no striving, no self-denial, no divorce from the follies of the world has made the doctrine of faith and faith only a popular doctrine. Majority of, of Christian churches will tell you that salvation is based on faith and faith only. Again, desire for easy religion that requires no striving, no coming to Sabbath school, no reading of scripture, no no self-denial. Am I home? Yeah. Why are we doing that? Because we care. Because we care that this building, whatever we build, that the walls, the achievements that we make, tall and glorious, that they will stand. That's the difference. That's what makes the difference. James 2 verse 26 says, Faith without works is dead. You know what? I read a wonderful wonderful uh, statement. Very short You love those, don't you? Obedience is not performance. It's faith. Full stop. Obedience is not performance. It's faith. How do you know your child is not faithful to you? doesn't obey you, huh? Amen. So it's not performance. Obedience is faith. Don't let anybody else tell you anything else. Obedience is faith. And salvation is by faith. God has made us depositaries of his holy word. What have we done with the light and truth given us to make men wise for salvation? No value is attached to a mere profession of faith in Christ. Only the love which is shown by works is counted genuine. How do we know that our child is faithful to us? by the way they obey us. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1. In that day seven women will take hold of one man and say, we will eat our own food and provide our own clothes. 
Only let us be called by your name. Take away our disgrace. What's, what's illustrated in that text? You, Isaiah is talking about or predicting a time where seven women will be wanting to be named by one man or will, will, be, will, be, want, uh, will be trying to get, be in relation well I don't know if in a relation but at least be named by, be, have his surname that's the point women is re- representing a church Woman is representing church. So seven women will say, we will have our own doctrine. I mean, I'm, we will have our own food. Okay? We will have our own clothes. So we will have our own doctrine of salvation because clothes, I mean, the, the garment of salvation is representing teaching of salvation, isn't it? We'll have our own clothes. Only to give us your name. So call us Christians. Why? Well, because we don't want to be disgraced. We don't want the shame of being not Christians. Possible? Painful. An option that really, you know, you know, we have, we have, we can have plenty of options. Why do we? Why does it matter? You know, you, you, we come to the situation where, you know, these seven women, it doesn't matter what they do day to day, as long as they called the positive name. The rest of it is not important. Cornwell Theological Semi- Seminary estimated in, to, in 2000, in the year 2000, that there is around 34,000 Christian denominations. How many? Not seven. 34,000 Christian denominations. Rising it to an estimated 43,000 in 2012. 12 years later, another, what? 8,000? Hmm. These numbers have exploded from 1,600 in the year 1900. Do we, have, do we see a trend here? We will have our own food, we will have our own clothes, as long as we are called of your name. Now, now we have to understand that you know, in many countries there are churches registered because they cannot be regi- registered as something that is associated with the United States of America. So we take that as a legitimate taking of different name. I'll tell you, for example, when you go to Turkey, you will not find an Adventist church. Or when you go to uh, Afghanistan or Pakistan, you will not find an Adventist church. You will find a group of people that are meeting for party after every weekend. They are celebrating this birthday or this and something else. And, you know, they're coming for this kind of family reunions. For the, you know, this is the excuse because they are coming for exactly the same purpose that we come here and they don't call themselves Christians. Why? Because quickly they would be this is how this is exactly how tolerant people can be in some other places and this is how much those people who choose themselves choose to call themselves something else how much they can complain about being mistreated. In the moment they would complain, they would be true. So we've got a blessing of coming to Penrith Church and making the program that we can, as good as it is, because it helps. It helps. But the point is, it will make us only as strong as we are prepared to dig deep so anybody who will call themselves Christians, it's not only a matter of naming, 
It's a matter of what you do as Christians. Jesus said that everyone who does the things that I, he, uh, that, that I say will make him a follower and will make him wise or not so wise. A different word used. Okay? You know, when you garage your horse in the garage, it doesn't make it Toyota. Or the opposite, if you, put the, if you drive into horse stable with Toyota, it doesn't make it a rising horse. So the, the fact that we are coming to the church doesn't, and garage here <laughs> doesn't make us Christians. It will make us Christians when we follow what he says. It's not being nasty. It's being realistic, and the more realistic that we are, the more prepared we are for the crisis to come. Matthew 7, 21, no one ever who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter there. Many people call themselves Christians and are not, and not, it's not being nasty. It's realistic. Did you hear, hear of legislation sometime in the past that in the US, in the United States, a Catholic could never become a president? Yes? In that period of time, how many Catholics would become Protestants? for pure motive of political gain. Not because they wanted to change from being Catholics to be Protestants, but to be, for being Protestants for the sake of achieving in political arena. So down in their hearts they were unchanged, by, but they had the colors of political colors of Protestant. Do you see why America would end up in different stage, uh, in different state at the moment, in different condition? Why? It's not because the law. It's because of moral principles that were there under the suit. That's the reason, and that's exactly will be the same reason, the same principle that will be working active in the church. So you, we not, we are not pastors. We are not Christians not just pastors, even pastors, doesn't make a difference. If we are not doing what we are, what we are preaching, then we are not Christians. And the opposite is equally true. Just in just the statistics of United States, if the church was successful in keeping all who were ever baptized in Adventist church, just in Advent in Adventist church in um, in United States, we would have six times the membership of what we have now. Exciting? It would be exciting if we, if we kept. Just if we kept everyone. If we kept everyone who, uh, who was baptized, uh, every child in the family that, was, uh, you know, that, that we had, every child in the family that we had, we would have, just in America, we would have 8 million, additional 8 million of members. Ooh. It does make a difference. At best, we have 20% of people involved in the action of, action of the church, in the activities of the church. The 80% are attending. That's bringing closer home. But the result is that you get... So it's not what we say, it's what we do makes the difference. Did you notice what makes the difference in uh, uh, you know, where the difference was evident between the builders, which one is full, which one was wise, uh, in the story, in the parable? When was the, the difference evident? <sighs> okay. 
when the storm came. Do you remember my last, I mean, fortnight week, fortnight, our oh, last sermon? Can't it? All joy when you fall in all kind of crises. <laughs> Why? Because mercy of God, he is bringing crises to us so we would realize what condition we are, how strong are our foundations. Because only crises had made evident what, how strong is the building. What, you know, am I a wise builder? Am I be, you know, building wisely? Or am I doing some foolish decisions here? In 1 Corinthians 3, 11, we find, For no one can ever lie, lie a foundation other than one that was already laid, which is Christ Jesus. Let's not pretend we didn't hear it. I mean, let, let's not, not, not even allow anyone to say that it is different. No, this is old story. Remember, Jesus said, I am the way, and he said that, you no, know, that sticks in my mind. He said that 500 years before Confucius was walking this earth. Was he that ignorant or he knew what he's talking about? I think he knew. So not, let's not, talk, not allow any, any of these religions tell us that we are wrong and mysticism is the answer because we've got the truth, we've got the way. We've got the life available. Be proud and bold about it. Don't be arrogant about it. Be proud about it. God established one foundation and the enemy makes all kind of forms of different foundation to suit the taste of the clientele. That's why you find various boxes of cereals when you go to Woolworths or Coles because people have different preferences, okay? The good stuff is all the same. All the additions are killing you. That make difference. You will notice that both buildings were similar in constructions. Both of them had foundations, both of them had walls, both of them had, uh, had roofs. Did you notice that you know, majority of Christian worships, for example, are very much the same? True? Agreed or not? They have songs, prayers, sermons, offerings, ordinances, celebrations. True? So, what makes the difference? The foundation. Are we where we're supposed to be. Salvation is gained through faith in Jesus Christ, but the enemy is putting all kind of various, uh, various things, uh, various, various offers, various options to confuse and clutter, to confuse me for, uh, you know, and lead me into choosing that is something that is not right. Proverbs 16.25 says there is a way that appears to be right. But the finishing of it, but the, but the end of it leads to death. Only one that leaves, leads to life and where I, I mentioned the, the, cho the choice. God prepared the way. Satan prepares the highway. Yes? God prepares the a door. Satan prepares a gate. Jesus says, enter through a door, narrow, straight. Not straight that is even straight line, but it is straight. No, like, no, you have to come only just, only make it. Only one per, one every time. So there is no crowd coming, only individuals that will come into heaven. 
When crisis is taking place, that's where the differences are demonstrated. And you know, the, 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 the things that we, uh, that, that we need to watch, you know, when, there is no, when everything is flowing smooth, we need to watch it. Because by the grace of God, he is showing us where we stand, how we fare, how we, how we going. You will notice that, uh, that in general, God's children uh, participate in similar kind of you know, situations. We get cancers. We get houses burned. We get flooded. We get uh, bankrupt. We get uh, what else? Uh, tell me your life. Exactly the same is happening out, out there. How you and I will go through that will be dependent on what foundation we have. And you know what? Victors are usually the people who are last, who are last standing on the battlefield. So I encourage you to take a stand on the solid ground so you can be last standing when, every, when, when everything else around us, around you, falls flat. You can be sure that when you build on Jesus, he is a victor. He knows the way. May God bless you. May God bless each one of us as we take the stand and now let us raise voices praising him with hymn number 618.